My name is Caroline Reddish. I am answering some questions from Jocelyn about place-based camps. So we've developed a place-based um, and responsive camp idea for our year 10s because our students need to understand our local area and for them their whānau is not getting them out into those areas so if we have the chance to do that and make them feel more connected to our environment, more connected to their place, we're going to get better buy-in for what we're doing. So our year 10 camps have changed in the sense that we still have the ones that go out of school but I'm trying to change and develop our program so that the ones that are left at school are doing place responsive programs that can help them understand and build skills, skills in their local area that they can go and do more regularly and hopefully build their confidence. And because it's here in this place, they will do it more often with their peers because they are the, they are the group that surrounds them. Our outdoor education program has, is very place based so that we can uh, give our students those skills to carry on and so they're a bit older our edu education program runs between year 12 and year 13 and so it is very focused on surfing in our local area tramping in our local area and mountain biking in this way they get the skills to then take their whānau as well out and do it and do some more um, so as I said, that is why we aim to connect students to a certain place or places over time because they will stay here, they will grow, have a love for our, our environment in this area and they'll look after it more and then they'll do it more because it is here. So some of the approaches we use are around building, building confidence within our students to do it. We build the key competencies very clearly into this. So relating to others is a, is a massive step for what we do because it's never about the individual. Managing themselves, they are expected at year 10 at camp to start managing themselves so that they can come on this camp and they're not, um, they're not always having other people do the work for them. And then when they're on there, they're managing themselves too within risk management but also to look after each other and build up their skills. We don't have a lot of family and community involvement in these because of that fact so we are working as a single group isolated from the community and maybe that is something that we need to look into changing but currently we act our outdoor ed classes and our year 10 camps are pretty um, unsupported by the community or families. They are pretty much run just by just through our school. Um, so we do, yeah, obviously we do a lot of the key competencies, managing self, relating to others, participating and contributing. So for them, for a lot of our students, they don't know, they're out of their comfort zone. So for them, it's a big deal to participate and then and then contribute to the team concept as we, um, as we go along. So our year 10 camp program changed so that instead of kids just choosing what they wanted to do each day and without any concept of a team or um, building relationships, they now, so last year we've changed it so that all students are in a group and they stay with that group and they stay with that teacher. So they're building whanauna tanga with their teacher and whanauna tanga with each other and re their relationships. So they're growing their support. They're able to re relate to others within that small group and manage themselves and then contribute to that team because they feel a bit more comfortable within that environment. Instead of just being individuals and choosing things as they go along, they're building that. So my hope for the Year 10 camps is that it actually builds our cohort to the next step. So that next, when they get into Year 11, you know, they know more people, they've um, interacted with students, they're not just in a form class with, and they're more confident to give things a go. This year we also created a program for our year 10s form classes. So the form classes had to come from, they went out, they did an adventure based learning program with their phys ed teachers throughout uh, the first term as in their form classes and then they came out of school for the day with their form teachers in a camp format. So the year 12s are running, running the day, running the programs and the year 10s with their form classes came together and that was very place based because it was about being in our town, in our environment, and um, working, being out of, out of school, so removing them from the four walls of school, but being together with their, fa their form class and building those relationships together with them and their form teacher, which takes uh, those long-term relationships that will help them succeed through school. And the outdoors, so I got more more reward. So the students were, they learnt more about each other and had more 
outcome from the one day out than they did from a whole term in PE doing ABL. And I think that was because they went outside of school, they um, were doing something different, and they um, got to see each other in a different light and really experience the, the students without the boundaries and confines of the school walls and the school um, expectations, I think, even though they still had those on them, obviously when they're outside, out of the school grounds, but it just was, um, they were just a far more open to doing anything. So for for them, they were building for Nonatanga, managing self and relating to others were our main ones and participating within that group. And the build on from that comes back into the classroom when they get back to school. And then hopefully we will have a big day, another day out with the whole cohort together. Instead of as individual form classes, they'll leave with a whole, they'll do a whole group activity. And then at the end of the year, they'll have the year 10 camps as well. So they'll um, then have other interpersonal skills they'll build, build from a whole new set of people that they're interacting with. So year t- yeah. So if that's clear, year tens do. Um, they were doing a leadership day, practical. Then they'll do a big as a form classes. Then they'll do a big um, year level program. So there's 250 year tens, and then at the end of the year they'll have the year ten camps. Um, I don't think there's a whole lot of building on. We are trying to create create it more of a leadership program because these stu- this is a first year we've integrated so much into our year 10s and for them the lead on is lost because they go into NCA and there's a different focus at year 11. We're trying to build then now the year 12s to come back down and lead the year 10s or the year 13s with the year 9s with peer support so that there is more integration between the school and more um, building on to the skills but to be fair our year 10 camp process just sits sits alone I would like what I would like to see is that we do a whole cohort year 10 camp process um, so that everyone comes together for that year the for the camp but that is something that I'm working against at, a, at my school because they are very set in stone of taking kids out of school to do activities so they have a Coromandel camp for a week they have um, a Waitomo camp they have um, what else do they have? They, they, well, they have activities away for the week where they take um, 10 to 25 students away with them. So I would like to see that change. And so my my um, what I would like to share with other educators is to to be confident in sharing and and understanding that if you get all your students together it doesn't have to be about high risk activities it doesn't have to be about um, filling their time in it's about getting them together all your students say at a year 10 level and building building their confidence building their interpersonal skills building their relationships because that's what grows your school and it's really important to have your teachers in there so you're building relationships with them so that they get that um, they could possibly get their dietic relationship with another with, with an adult so that they could um, gain support from them and then from that confidence to move forward in their school. So at a year 10 level we have the chance to do that and build them for the next three years. And if we can do it in our, in our place environment then they're gonna, then it, that even makes more sense and more, more confident for them. But if we can do this at year 10 outside of school we can build our school for you know the rest of their time and it is amazing especially I guess if we can bring leadership in as well but my advice to other people trying to do this is just to be confident and give that a go even with bigger numbers try to find a way even if it's for a day or two to get your your students together as one group instead of individual little pockets of groups which my school does that I would like to see change so I, I work at Trident High School I am the Year 10 Dean, I'm also Assistant Head of PE and currently on the Senior Management Team. So we are really making some changes in our school and um, a lot of it is based in, in getting our students outside the classroom and building them as people.